morning, Jana here with Jana's Quilt Shop. Well, it's time for Monday morning tidbit. We've got a lot going on in the shop, so much I can hardly keep up with it. I wanna let you know that we're still accepting quilts to quilt. Uh, we've been down to two to three weeks out. That's about the best we do. So if you have some tops that you need quilted quickly, bring them in now. Okay, also wanted to talk to you about our new stuff. We have new three yard quilt bundles. You need to check out and see what we came up with. They're in the shop and they're so cute. Okay, we also have some new BQ patterns. Love these for our block of the months. And there's several, this is BQ6, but we have BQ2 I know in and several others. So these are real quick and easy patterns that I love to, to work with. And I think you will too. Okay, so you wanna try those out. And then I promised to show the the 4th of July runner that I met, I started in another tidbit and I now have it finished. Look at that, how pretty that is. I love 4th of July decorations, have a lot of them. I plan to use this one, I think it's really neat. Now this was a kit, we still have kits available in the store of these while the fabrics last on that. So if you're interested in one of those, my 4th of July braid kit, love it, love it, love it. Okay, what I'm gonna show you as a tidbit today is a little story behind it. My niece is having her third child. She's not that old, she's young. And each time I like to make her a quilt, but I always want her to pick out the fabric and the pattern because I want it to be something she likes. So this time she sent me a picture. It is from something she's seen on Pinterest and I thought, oh no, I'm not gonna tell her, but I'm not sure I can do this. It is um, striking and quite different. Here's the pattern, show you that, see what you think. Okay, there's the pattern, and she wanted it in those similar colors. She really likes the neutral tones for this, this baby, and here's what it looks like finished. Look at that, isn't that cute? But after I looked at it, I thought, well, the piecing's not so bad. It's the quilting that I'm not sure about. The quilting makes the quilt, but it's a little scary to me. I, even after quilting all these years, I'm a little nervous about that. Now I like it. I like to quilt more. Okay, when you break it down, there's two, there's two blocks in this. Look right there. The flower block, and then this one is a snowball that has, you know, the corners. So it's a snowball block, and then I just quilted that flower in the middle. And then this one is pieced, and there's quite a few pieces to it, but you do strip sets for that one, and these are half squares in the corners. And then you add the corner squares on there that makes it look like a flower. The center has the little corners going off too to make a little snowball center there, but look how easy that is. Just three fabrics in that a light cream, a medium, and then the darker gold there. But um, those two blocks are pretty easy. So that wasn't so bad. And I tried to stay pretty true to her colors. You see the center was kind of gold in that one. I had to find fabrics that went along with her pattern. She wouldn't have been upset if I hadn't, but I, it was a challenge to me to do that. So I found this little plaid or check there that you uh, see and I put it on the inside, but I also did it as the binding on the quilt. I did a grid tighter in the middle of the flower and then a little wider grid on that one, if you can see that in the picture. And I used poly batting in this because I really wanted the quilting to poof out on that, on the flowers and, and the echo. I just echoed inside the flower on here. So I didn't do a lot of stitch in the ditch which if you've ever quilted, stitch in the ditch, it just takes longer to do than most other quilting, but it really looks good on a lot of quilts. So that one wasn't so hard to do. I did a light cream backing on it, as you can see there, kind of goes in with the fabric, bound it with the plaid. I hope she likes it, she hasn't seen it yet. So I hope she likes it and the baby enjoys it for many years to come. Okay. So, you know, we have one quilt, one uh, kit here, just like the one behind me. An excellent baby quilt, or even the pattern has on it for a lap quilt. So you could convert to a lap quilt. 
We put extra fabric in here. I don't know. You'd have to check it out. You might even have enough for the lap quilt in there. But I know you can at least make this larger baby quilt. Okay. Well, that's my tidbit for today. Don't forget to check our online fabrics. We have an online only sale going on right now. Not sure how long it'll last, but there's some really good Moda fabrics on there that, that you can purchase at a reduced rate. Okay, that's it for today.